Beset by social, economic and political crises, Malaysia may be on its way towards becoming a failed state, says a columnist for Bloomberg. He said the white flag movement was more of a shorthand for discontent at the atrophying state and troubled economy. The people have no hope and desire to overthrow the government, although it is unclear that there is one to topple these days, he added. While the country's prime ministers were once credited for stable leadership despite authoritarian traits, he noted that lawmakers have been unable to guide Malaysia through its current plight. Following UMNO's announcement to withdraw support for Prime Minister Mahyuddin Yassin and infighting within the party, Moss said no leader appeared to have sufficient support in parliament or among the 32 million population to replace the country's leadership. He also pointed out that it was unclear when the general elections will be held, while the monarchy was being forced to leave the ceremonial shadows to referee. Moss said this was happening as the country continued to face a high number of COVID-19 cases, a slow vaccination rate and prolonged lockdowns with factories being shut, public transportation running on a skeleton schedule and the military in charge of roadblocks. For Malaysia to reach or get close to the International Monetary Fund's forecast growth of 6.5% this year, he said the second half of 2021 needed to be stellar. Moss said the country was once an emerging market icon during Mahathir Mohamad's premiership from 1981 to 2003, but it started to go wrong with unnecessary spending on a new airport and the Twin Towers. Najib Razak had then bungled the disappearance of MH370 in front of the world. added that ethnic and religious tensions had worsened in recent years, while the credibility of the ruling class would keep eroding the longer it took to vaccinate the country.